Hey, what's going on, guys? Engineer DJ here, and you are now tuning into Dead Space 3 Best Tools to Use. Now, if you follow my guide, I not only make you better, faster, stronger, but I make you deadlier than ever before. Okay, now y'all better be paying attention. Because now we're going to the bench where I can show y'all how to make these beauties. Now, first we're going to start with the acid maker. That's what I like to call them. Mm. Now, to start, you're going to make sure that you have yourself a heavy elite frame. Now, don't panic if you don't have a heavy elite. I believe you can also use a heavy standard frame. Either will do. But if you want the best results possible, you're going to want to get yourself a heavy elite frame. Now, to get some of the items I'm going to be describing to you throughout this little tutorial, I guess you could call it, you're going to make sure that you uh, progress a little bit further in the uh, main campaign of the story. Oh, look at that. I could probably put that on there. But I'm not going to. I'm going to stick with this because you got four upper circuits and then you got four lower circuits. You don't have to bother with unlocking or unloading anything or anything like that. Besides, it only gives you one bar of reload to pick the other one. But yeah, you're going to want to stick with the heavy elite frame. And if you prefer the, prefer the uh, MK2 overclocked uh, heavy frame, then you just have to wait till you progress a little bit further in the actual campaign of the game. But anyway, next you want to make sure that you got your military engine. And then along with that, you're going to want to make sure that you have your MK2 directed suspension field for your upper tool tip. Now, as I said before, you do not have to have the MK2. You can also have just a regular directed suspension field. It won't make too much of a difference. I mean, one is better than the other. You see there, it reduces some of your speed. Here, it keeps it at the same speed. So that you can fire just as fast with your burst. Burst all over the place. But anyway, for your lower tool, you're going to want to make sure that you have a survey charge. Now, I believe there are going to be times during the game where you may not actually have it or... You may not start out with it at the beginning of the game. So what you want to make sure that you do, as I said before, you want to make sure you progress through the campaign a little bit and wait till you're able to unlock it or purchase it or what have you. But once you get it, then you're golden. You'd be one step closer to making the asset of me. Now, for your lower tool tip, as you can see there, you're going to make sure that you have the MK2 directed suspension field. Now, if you got that, once again, you're golden. For your attachment, you're going to want to make sure that you have the acid bath. If you don't got the acid bath, then you don't got the acid maker. And then, what's the point? But yeah, you're going to make sure you have that. Now, before I get into the upgrade circuits, we'll leave that for last. I got the... uh. Attachment number one that I probably should have gone over, but we wanted to make sure that you had the acid bath first because that's where this one comes into play. For your safety guard, you're going to get into those times where your, your pesky little necromorphs are going to want to run up and get all up in your space. You know, we don't want that. That's what the point of having the acid maker is. You keep it nice and clear as you burst short rounds at your enemies. But anyway, you're going to make sure that you have the safety guard. Once again, you do not have to have the MK2 safety guard. You can also have just a regular safety guard, which I do not seem to have at the time, but who cares? Because I don't need it. I got the MK2 safety guard. But yeah, as long as you got that, you don't have to worry about taking any splash damage from your explosive weapons, such as the acid maker. Mm, love saying that name. So yeah, as long as you got that, you'll be, 
protect it from your little splashes and whatnot. You get to blow them up no matter how close they get. Alright. Now, on to the upgrade circuits. We're going to start with the upper tool upgrade circuits. Now, for these here, you're going to want to make sure that you got your, your reload time going up, you know. Kind of, I mean, not too much for the upper tool. Yeah. Loading that is fast enough as it is. Besides, that's where you're mainly going to want to put them on the bottom. But anyway, let's stick up here. Since you're going to be relying on the upper tool a little bit more than the bottom one, because you're going to want to keep them at a distance and fire off short, short bursts of rounds at them, you're going to want a little bit of damage on them. So for that, we're going to start with these here, you know, ones with the most amount of damage. Now, as I said before, sometimes you won't have all of these unlocked, so you're going to probably want to wait. Because see here, I have the elite circuits or, you know, scaff circuits or whatnot. These, these are the, the higher, you know, leveled type of circuits. You know, you, you, you'll get them, though. You'll get them. You'll get there. But as you can see, they have different colors, like the higher leveled circuits have the the little black tint and, you know, the background of it, you know, behind that nice little picture of a reload mm. along with the damage. And then you got the other ones. They're like, I guess, the second tier of leveled, you know, upgrades where they're mostly red. My favorite color. Yeah. And then you got these ones here that, you know, they're not all so good. I mean. When you unlock them and stuff, or you finally find them, they make them look all rare, but, eh, they're not all that great. So, they'll be the blue ones. Then, other than that, you catch your regular ones here, the very lowest of the low, as far as I'm concerned. Well, no, not quite. I guess you got the yellow ones here that are the lowest of the low. And then the whiter, just below the other ones, and then you got the blue that are below. Okay, here. I'm getting ahead of myself. Look. You got your yellow, you got your white, you got your ones right here with the blue stuff around them. And then you got your red, and then you got the blue, complete blue, you know, not, not a blue tint around it or like a little blue outlining. And then you got the black. But anyway, just try to get something with some damage and a clip, because you're going to want to make sure that you have enough ammo to share with all the necromorphs you know you can't be you can't be uh greedy with the ammo you got to make sure you share it with all of them and so next you're going to want to make sure that you have another one of these bad boys except it's not going to be plus three reload or plus three damage it's going to be plus three damage plus three clip and then plus three clip and we're going to switch it up a little bit and make a uh, plus two rate of fire now i know you're also asking well dj you were just saying you got the highest leveled tier of, you know, upgrade circuits, but yet you got this red one here. Well, let me uh defend myself there. I don't have that many of these things, okay? Even though you only get two guns with like two freaking tools on them. Man, I, I don't have that many of these things. You know how hard these things are to find? I had to play this game a good little couple of times to get these. But yeah. If you do what I did, play the game a couple of times, you'll get them. All right, just work at it. Now, if you want to keep that as, you know, a little extra one. You want to keep that rate of fire up, but it's usually pretty fast. So rate of fire, you're not going to want to worry about too much on this one up here. As for the um, Damage though, that one you're going to want to work on a lot more on the separate tool. See, I got damages all the way across here, except for these two spots. You can see, as you can see, I'm, I'm not as worried about reload or rate of fire. But that's where you get to the lower tool. Whereas you can see here, I want to keep my damage, right? Damage is the most important, but you see, I'm working a little bit more on the reload, rate of fire, and rate of fire. As you can see there. And I got like one little clip because I think two rockets is the most you can have. So instead of keeping one, I wanted to make sure I had two. All right. So if you just take a look at these here and use those to your advantage, you'll be able to make the asset rake maker in no time. All right. Now let's go ahead and get on to the 
Next one. This little beauty here, I like to call the four shotgun. Mm. Now, with this one here, for your lower tool, you're going to make sure you have a heavy scaff frame. All right. You got that? You on the right way to start this thing. Okay. Now, for your upper tool, you're going to make sure you have the military engine. I know. You're saying, oh, we got to have this thing again. Yeah, if you want to make this bad boy, you're going to have to have it. Now, for your upper tool tip, you're going to make sure that you have the MK2 conic dispersal. Now, as I said before, you can't have the regular one, so there's no worries. Just got to wait till you get the good stuff. And then as your lower tool, you're going to make sure that you have the plasma core. You ain't got that. You ain't got no force, baby. No force at all. Force will not be strong with you. Then, as your lower tool tip, you want to make sure you have another one of those little dispersal things. All right? You want to make sure you have that so you can get that force. Now, let's get on to the attachment two. I know you're asking me, why do I go to the attachment two? Well, I feel it's the most important. It's giving you that extra splash of damage, you know? Like the acid maker, you have the nice acid bath. With this one, you're going to have a nice flame glaze. Which will allow you to cause more damage or, you know, minor damage over time, basically. So while you're shooting your enemies, you know, you're, uh, 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 hurting them a little bit more, you know. And then, um, once again, I got, uh, the MK2 because I've been working on my game, you know. But anyway, you know, make sure you have some damage support. As I said before, you can't have a regular one with that. So you see, I got that one there, but I only use that because I got the good stuff. And where'd it go? Right there, yeah. So if you have all these, you'll be set to go on making yourself the full shotgun. Now, as for your upgrade circuits here, you want to make sure that you're working on the damage for the top as much as you can, okay? You want to keep those shotgun blasts as strong as possible, but as you can see, the upper tool is already as strong as it is, so... Even though you want to be working on that, you don't need to worry about it so much. And as I said before, the reason I got some of these red ones here is because, like I said, man, I ain't got all the good stuff all the time. I'm working on it just like y'all got to work on it. And then on the bottom here, since you're using that force gun, you're going to want your rate of fire to be a little bit faster. You see that? Three plus reload, three plus rate of fire. Same thing over here. Just a step down. Yeah. And then for this one over here. You don't want to make sure that you, you know, have your clip up. You know, you, you, you gotta make sure that you got your clip size right. You can't just be having little, little baby amounts of clips. You gotta share it with all the necromorphs. You can't be greedy. They want, they need those bullets, alright? And then with your damage, you wanna make sure you keep a nice little bit of damage on there. You're not too focused on that though, because the point of the lower tool is to, just like the acid maker and its lower tool, it's to kind of keep those enemies back. You know, you want to keep them at a distance. That's where you're going to do the most work. They start to get up close. Then you got a problem. They're over here slashing at you, poking your eyeball out, slashing you across the throat, cutting the arteries. It's not a good sight. So if you keep them back, you know, at that distance, that right distance, use the shotgun work. You're good to go. So if you put all these together, what do you have? The four shotgun. And it's a beautiful thing. Now, let's go ahead and put these puppies to use. Engineer DJ is going to show you how it's done. All right, come on out here. I'm ready for you. Now watch this here. See? He's trying to get up close. Boom. Blew them apart. Blew them apart. Now you got that little baddie there. Look at it. Wait. Oh, no. Hold up. Ugh. Just knock him off. That's okay. Yep, do your little work. Mm, get that head off there. There you go. Now let's switch over to the other gun. See that? He's trying to get all close. Run up on me. Hold up. Run up on me. Come on. Oh, he can't run. We'll run up on him. Mm, look at that fire glaze. And then bam. Done. Now you got this bad boy right here. Trying to jump at you? No. Get back. Still alive? Not anymore. And finish him off with a nice fatality step. Alright. Stomping the yard over here with this one right here. Gotta make sure it's in pieces. 
Can't have any live ones running around on us. But yeah, I'll give you guys another demonstration of that. Just real quick. Bam! Get back. Can't have you all up in our space like that. Oh, mm, smash them. We're still waiting for the other Brady Bunch members to come on in here. See, look at that. Bloom back. He can't, oh, trying to get up. See, he can't do it. And look at this poor schmuck here, trying to crawl in. He can't do much, and bam. Bam. Shotgun to the face. Well, I guess for this little one over here, you know, if you got the ammo for it, you can spare it. You can move around, do a little flashy jumps, you know, dodge it, make it look real cool. If you're recording like I am. And then boom! Blow them apart. Well, I hope everyone enjoyed that little tutorial of mine. And yes, if you follow this guide, you will have the best weapons possible in Dead Space 3 and you will be ready to take out Necromorphs. No problemo. Y'all have a nice day.